hello everybody hello dear streamians and this is my first vlog guitar lesson vlog that i'm doing for steam it it's quite cold out here you know although the sun is out kind of and anyway so i'm excited about this video you know something new i'm doing after a long time and this is about this is going to be about the warm ups you know whenever you start playing your guitar you just don't start with songs or whatever you just do a little warm up that helps you to you know get the blood circulation going and stuff so this is very important you know however great guitar player you may become but you have to practice this warm ups you know you we never master these warm ups but what we do we actually practice to get ourselves warmed up for a better efficiency when we are practicing anyway so uh, first warm up we are going to do is without the guitar you can lay it down on your lap and what you can do you can move your hands straight and you know like this keep your palm facing like this and with the other hand you bend your palm or the fingers towards yourself you know hold it for 5 uh, 10 seconds 1 2 3 4 then release and do the same thing in the inverted direction also you know you'll feel some stretch here and it gets the blood circulation going and stuff and same thing with the other hand as well straight and pull your fingers back hold it and keep the breathing normal and do it like this and many of you are wondering to why do we need to do this actually you know people who only strum and play chords for them uh, it's okay not to do this but if you are into serious guitar playing then the chances of getting hurt so in order to avoid those injuries you need to do this and also you can do this you know lock your hands and stretch your shoulders you know behind move ahead and then behind and you can repeat this you know you have to hold it for some time like 2 3 seconds or 5 seconds breathe in 1 2 3 4 breathe out 1 2 3 4 breathe out and you'll see that your shoulders are you know loosening up and then you can move your shoulders like this forward and reverse and then another thing you know you, you can do is like like this you know make a fist and let it go in a little bit intense manner and this is how you can repeat for 10 15 cycles and then you are all warmed up to pick up your guitar and play and i'll share with you two warm up exercises you know every day i'll give you different tips on different topics and stuff you know small videos short videos as if you're going to a teacher so anyway now it's time for you to do some chromatic exercises it's a very helpful exercises you know and it will help you to play scales better and it will develop finger strength and a lot of stuff you know huge benefits and you won't find a single good guitar player who haven't practiced this you know there's no possibility everybody has to practice the chromatic exercises anyway if you are a beginner then try to learn it slowly don't rush and if you already know how to play the guitar properly then you'll be able to pick it up for sure so we have two three four four fingers for four frets right we put our first finger on six string first fret second finger on six string second fret third finger on six string third fret and fourth finger on six string fourth fret so one two three four and one thing you'll notice i'm keeping my thumb in such a way that there is a gap between my palm and the guitar i'm not gripping the guitar like this here i'm keeping my thumb like this and i'm making the thumb come like this like making the wrist bend like this and the fingers are reaching so that we have a lot of clearance and the fingers can move easily all right and this is how i'm doing it maybe i'm going too fast you do it with one string you know 1 2 3 4 make sure you don't lift off the fingers after putting the next finger like 1 then 2 and there'll be a tendency of your fingers to become like this if you are doing it like this then there's no use 
of this exercise. So just try to keep these the fingers rooted, right? One, two, three, four, and and always do alternate picking. Alternate picking means down, up, down, up, and then you go to the next string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and so on. All right. You start from the sixth string and go to the first string, and once you reach the first string, you do the reverse. And while coming reverse, you have to lift off your fingers, right? Otherwise, you get the sound of the same fret. See, if I'm not lifting with my fingers, what is happening? Only one note is sounding. All right. So this is how it works, and take your time and practice. And make sure whatever you play, it should be in a rhythm. One, two, three, four, and always try to play slowly. I'm just saving time here. All right. And the next exercise that you can take is like this. The same thing. We started from the first array. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what we did, we went to the next string on the same fret, but this time you can move it. One, two, three, four. Now move it to the second fret and play from the second fret on the next string. One, two, three, four. On the next string, move one fret. Next string, move one fret. And while coming back, also you are moving one fret behind. So this is a movable chromatic. So for today, this is what. You need to practice and make sure that you practice these exercises throughout your lifetime. You know, the more you do, trust me, I used to practice this for hours maybe. And after a while, my fingers were very good, you know, compared to the number of days I've played or number of months I played. So considering the fact, the total experience, I was performing quite well compared to the way I started off. I wasted first year. I could play hardly anything but after that I got serious and I used to practice this you know so I wish you all the best and practice this religiously you know every day before playing something whenever you pick up the guitar this is the first thing you do like when you wake up you just go to your washroom and brush your teeth like that thank you and I'll be back with more lessons soon so don't forget to follow me in steam it and I'll see you soon